Yeah, it's a nasty, foggy, rainy, sleet kind of a day. Perfect day to play trains, so that's what I'm going to do while everybody else is dealing with the holidays. I think I will too. So, what's that? That is a cow catcher steam box off a 2018. And what I'm going to do is cut the cow catcher off and see if I can drill and tap a hole to put a hook. Now, why would I do a thing like that? Well, I want a pusher or one that I can have uh, two steam locomotives on a train, a double header. And the 218 does not have magnet traction. So just like when I did the Alco pusher, I'll use one that doesn't have magnet traction so it'll slip if I have dissimilar voltages or dissimilar running uh, locomotives back to back. One has to bite. The other one has to help, but it has to slip, you know, so. Well, I'll go into the hilltop saw shop and use a cutoff wheel. I'm not going to video the operation, but basically I'm going to chop that off with a chop saw. Here's step number one. I'll clean it up. That metal is surprisingly good. You know, I was expecting kind of a pot metal, but... You can see from the finish, it actually has a little bit of hardness to it. It's got to be a die casting. And they had to use some pretty good material. Interesting. So I've got to take that off, but then I have to kind of die grind in a notch. I'm going to do it between those two posts and hope that's enough. A little bit of grinding work later, and I've got a slot right there for clearance. Now I've got to come up with a hook that I can drill and tap and attach right there. Or, if I can't attach it to the this, I'll attach it to the uh, front wheel. We will see. See how it plays out. Figure these two locomotives right here are from the 1940s. First generation of the 2026. And the way you can tell is the first generation of that series is it has the handrails and it has uh, the single axle right here instead of the double axle. They run pretty good for being almost 80 years old. Well, taking a break from the projects. I think this is the concept for a coupler up front there so I can do a double header with the uh, little 027 locomotives. That's the project. Both these 2026s went through. Some uh, upgrades. That one got a new smoker. This one got a new cow catcher and uh, trolley track I gotta cut those off at some point but I think what I need to do and I have to convince partner in crime here that we need to start the uh, grade a little sooner this guy goes up and down no problem but it's a little steep for the normal trolleys and gonna run uh, a couple more lines so that I can get my my switches back. This was actually kind of funny. So these two switches right here 
and right here I had powered with a constant volt you know I guess it was the 14 volt pin on one of those transformers and I used the white lead in the Romex that I have and what happened was I had this brilliant idea to run the Romex and feed both of the tracks with that same Romex as I had mentioned before having that ground having that now be connected to one of the LW's and that to the other well now those switches are track powered so I didn't change the way they were connected they're actually connected up right here so what happened was I was running the bottom track with my smaller 027 026s right sounds pretty good 2026s as soon as I got to those switches they didn't switch and they weren't heavy enough to push the, the switch so they got tossed off the track I'm like wait a minute all of them broke at once because I went and tried each one in turn did the same thing but my heavier steam engine like that uh, one I was running in the last video the, the turbine he had no problem it went right through the switch so it took me just a few minutes to figure that out so decided the best thing to do was to run some more lines and I'm gonna add uh, one of those lines is gonna be the constant 18 or 14 volts I haven't decided which yet but it'll be constant voltage and the other one is going to be to the third transformer. So instead of going directly to the, the trolley track, I'm going to let that one power one of these, one of these legs right here, and then uh, use that to power the trolley or some other track if we decide to do it. So I actually have three transformers, three power leads, all coming back through the same ground. I have to wire all three transformers to that ground. And uh, being 14 gauge, that's plenty. One of the things I find interesting is on these older locomotives, I got to run, you know, 11 or 12 volts. I don't know if anyone noticed in one of my last videos when I was running that uh, GG1 and this MTH SD45, both of those are the smaller version. All I had to do was just crack the transformer open. The lowest voltage I could actually get and they had no problems pulling their trains around that little track. You know, that's what you get with the twin uh, can motors for the flywheels, I guess. A lot more efficiency. But um, no other reason but luck, I ended up with all three versions of the 2026. This one was the original version. And uh, it had a little more detail, but it also just had the, the two and the two, right? The 262. And then both of these, that one over there, and this one down here were later versions and the interesting thing is this was the next version and there's no bump on the die cast shell and that was the last version and it has exactly the same die cast shell with a bump that the yeah right there I see that one that the 2018 has Here's one right here. See that right there? So, lots of little variations on a theme. I think it's pretty interesting. I gotta fire this one off first.
and since it is uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas, this is my present I got from my wife. This is one of those, how cool is that? <laughs> it's a caboose that has a smoker in there, and I think we're going to find out if it works. Now, it came with some fluid, but I think I'm going to stick with the other kind of fluid instead of what the Lionel fluid looks like because it's been in there for a long time is my guess it's actually a pretty heavy car it says Lionel Mount Clemens and I see some stuff in there new in the box Okay, and we'll put it down here in the lower track. Hmm. And I'll start jacking the volts until we get smoke. That's 10. Nothing. 12. Nothing. 15. There you go. So if I get up to 18 volts like a normal system would be, it pops right up there, doesn't it? So let's bring it back down to 12 after it's boiling. Down to there. See, it settles right back down and stops boiling. So what this is designed to do is run on a, a more modern track where you have, um, you know, a constant 18 volts and it works just fine. Let's do that again. We'll bring it up to 15 volts. Yeah, you don't get smoke until you get to 15 volts. That's the deal. That's what we got. It's a cool car. Look at that. Plenty of smoke. It just needs the voltage. I'm not sure how I'm going to get around that. Look at that thing. Pulls it right out. Get up to 18 volts. There's 18 volts. <laughs> 